Hey you guys, it's Crystal from the Abundantly Blessed Homestead. We use the wisdom of our ancestors to make amazing, nourishing, delicious meals for our family and grow some of our own food. Today I'm going to be making my um, canned pineapple zucchini. This is basically a recipe to use up extra zucchini um, and you can it in pineapple juice. Um, and the, the result is an amazing um, can of zucchini that actually tastes like canned pineapple. I use this in a lot of my recipes for like pina colada bread, or you can take it and use it um, in a zucchini bread recipe and it turns out pineapple. It's just delicious. So let's get started. Okay, so in this pot is 24 cups of shredded zucchini. You can use any zucchini you'd like. Obviously, if you use a smaller zucchini, you don't have to take the seeds out. Um, but this is a great recipe for those large zucchinis that you don't know what to do with. Um, go ahead and take the seeds all out and then shred it on up and it's ready to use in this recipe. Okay, the next ingredient you're going to need is canned pineapple juice. This, um, just make sure you're reading your label. Um, it is 100% juice, no sugar added. Um, and you're going to need a 48 fluid ounce container. Next ingredient is one and a half cups of lemon juice. You want to make sure you're getting quality lemon juice, you guys. You don't want to be buying the stuff in that green plastic container. Um, that is not real lemon juice. If you read the ingredients, it's got some not so nice preservatives in there. So we need one and a half cups of lemon juice. Next ingredient is three cups of sugar. I'm going to just do two cups of sugar and then one cup of honey. Actually, it's looking like that's the bottom of the sugar container. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a cup and a half of sugar and a cup and a half of honey. You can do all sugar at three cups or all honey if you prefer. Um, the zucchini really does need sugar to really taste like the pineapple. Um, I've tried it all honey before and it just isn't quite there. Um, so you can just get away with about having half of it being honey and half of it being sugar. Um, but anything more than half honey um, of the three cups and you don't quite get the same result that you would if you would have used sugar. So this is super easy to make. We're gonna go ahead and turn our burner on high. And we're going to bring these ingredients up to a boil and then we're going to simmer them for 20 minutes and then they're ready to go ahead and go into whatever jars you would like to put them in. Usually I put mine in pint sized jars because that's approximately two cups. Most recipes that call for zucchini or pineapple um, usually comes in about a two cup increment. So I usually do this in pints and this is high acid enough to water bath can for 15 minutes for pints. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, you sure could look up canning pineapple um, for the pressure canner in your certain altitude. Um, but for me, I'm going to go ahead and water bath can these for 15 minutes. Um, so this just comes up to a boil, and then we're going to simmer it for 20 minutes, load the jars, and we're off. Okay, so this has come to a boil. We're going to go ahead and reduce the heat down to a medium high heat and let this simmer for 20 minutes and then we'll be ready to load our jars. Okay, so this has been simmering for 20 minutes. I did end up reducing the heat to medium low heat. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat now and I'm gonna load my jars and like I said, I will process these um, pints of the pineapple zucchini for 15 minutes in a water bath canner. And that's all there is to it. If you guys like canning videos, you guys enjoy watching my content, give my video a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.